sir, are you joking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep coughing forcefully. <coughs> oh, stand up, sir. Bend over at your waist. Let me give you five back ones and move on your shoulder blades at the heel of my wrist. Are you still choking, <coughs> sir? Let me give you an, an abdominal thrust as I find my your belly button with my two fingers and covering it with my other hand and thrusting upwards while I cough. <laughs> Did you cough it out, sir? Yes. The item came out? Yes. Let me get you some water. Okay, caring for an infant. Caring for an infant that is choking, um, they want to first verify that they are choking by asking if, if they can speak, and if they can, tell them to keep forcefully coughing um, until their condition changes. Well, in this case, when their condition changes, you want to position the infant's head away from your body and place your forearm under them. And you want to take your top hand and cradle their jaw and their head to hold their head secure. Then you want to flip them over, and you're going to get five back blows with the heel of your wrist in between the shoulder blades. So one, two, three, four, five. So you always want to keep your fingers up so you don't hit the infant's head. So then you're going to flip the infant back over, still having your thumb and your hands securing the jaw, you're going to raise, uh, uh, prop the infant, you're going to prop the infant up on your leg, I'm standing up so I'm not really sitting down doing it right, but then you can take your hand off securing the infant's head and you want to give five, um, chest thrusts and you want their lungs, their chest to inflate all the way back up and you go with you go about an inch and a half deep. So one, two, three, four, five. And you keep repeating, holding the infant's head, flipping the motion, and giving the infant five back blows. Five, and then flipping the infant back over, still securing the jaw and neck, taking that off, and giving them five chest thrusts. One, two, three, four, five, until they cough up or spit up the um, item that they're choking on, or if they go un unconscious, then you begin CPR. Most of the time when you're helping an infant, you're normally sitting down, or, or you have them somewhere resting on your thigh with your forearm on the back of them, and your forearm resting on your thigh so you can give chest compressions.